Uh, Errol, I just wanted to clarify something you said earlier. Had you literally never heard of Carlos Acampo before you were ordered to fight him? Um, no, nah, I never, I never heard of him. Um, okay. I mean, I, ne- I never heard of him before. Huh? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Oh, I say, which that doesn't mean uh, mean nothing. I mean, it's a lot of fighters that you know pop up out of the blue that's a fight that you never heard of. They just don't have the management of the promotion team or the spotlight to you know to be seen. That's the ones you gotta watch out for. Errol, the response to your fight down in the Dallas area has been great so far, and, and it might be a sellout on Saturday night. How gratifying has that been for you? Because I know you've wanted a long time fight for a while now. It's very satisfying because, you know, this this is my home base. This is where I started. And just, you know, to, to see my core fans, you know, appreciate me enough to, you know, come out and, and – and spend their time and their money to come watch me fight, you know, that's great. You know, it shows that a lot of my hard work, you know, blood, sweat, and tears paid off. And, um, you know, I feel like that's the ultimate gratification to be at home and to sell out at home and have people come out and support you and it'd be a great event. Errol, you mentioned earlier that you would like to fight the winner of the Danny Garcia-Sean Porter fight. Who do you think will win that fight and why? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I think Danny Garcia could pull it out. I mean, he doesn't do anything spectacular, but he has great timing, uh, good fundamentals, and um, you know, he, he just has good timing. Man, he just pulls it out. I mean, when you think he's gonna lose the fight, he ends up winning the fight. So I'll go with uh, Danny Garcia on that one.